Hello, I'm Terry George, G4AMT, and that is VDSL broadband noise on 10 megs, seemingly radiated from BT overhead lines and BT VDSL modems in properties radiating from the property telephone wires. This image shows the uh, location of my property the location of my four element uh, directional 10 meg sloper the black line in the top right of the image is the overhead telephone line and the overhead feed to my property the green line is an underground telephone line which goes to the south of my property you see a, a red cross there that's where uh, the bit of video shortly shows strong tones coming out of a manhole okay we're on 10 megs 10104 and the noise floor around about minus 130 db with no antenna connected so we're using the uh, four element sloper array I'm going to switch in the east antenna and that's a noise level of approximately 20 dB above the noise floor that's mainly broadband noise if we bring in the western antenna that noise level now goes up to roughly 30 dB and at the present time that's the main source of noise and is very likely a VDSL modem radiating onto the internal property wiring of a nearby house which is fed by underground BT cables. So on 10104 so I'm going to give that now 50 watts of RF that brings up a tone and reduces the noise around that frequency. That tone may very well stay on, I'll just back it off a bit that tone may very well stay on for three or four hours I did this test yesterday and it stayed on very very gradually decreasing in amplitude for about four hours so we tune off that Turn 108 and there we have tones again so you can see the 10104 tone at the left hand ed edge of the screen on the P3, 10108 and 10112 at the right hand edge of the screen. Uh, these tones are, are present from top band up to 30 megs. They're much much weaker on top band but obviously the DX signals that we're trying to hear are much weaker on top band so they actually uh, make it very difficult so any de expeditions listening please go up uh, 0.5 10 108.5 would be ideal if I switch to the south brings in two tones very difficult to tell they're very very close in frequency but you can hear them beating so there, there are two different sources of tones uh, currently causing problems one to the west and one slightly lower to the south. This could be the start of a production company, you never know. Here's John G3XRJ portable DF in a BT Mano. The men in white coats arrived just a few minutes later. The second element to the interference is pure noise and that seems to be generated by the uh, the VDSL BT modems and radiated back up the telephone lines and, and also radiated from the, the property telephone wiring.
So these uh, open reach modems are ECI Telecom Limited, made in China, not surprisingly. And that's the details of the modem. I have two, and obviously uh, we've gone through the process of trying both of them. The overhead telephone lines are radiating noise in the order of 10 to 15 dB almost wherever you, you listen underneath them. Unfortunately my K9AY receiving antenna is jammed between the feed to my house and the, the overhead lines and since the introduction of uh, VDSL has become almost useless due to the, uh, due to the noise level and of course my modem along with others are all feeding noise into the telephone lines which is being radiated. So there we are, that's uh, VDSL interference as it is here. It's worse on 10 megs but the tones and the noise are to a lesser extent affecting top band 80 and 40 as well as 30 meters. And if as I am you're in the game of trying to dig out very weak signals then it is an absolute menace.